Hi, thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm gonna unbox and review the iMiso 3 standing desk. Hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, this is the box. Came quite big, and you also, if you see the component, I'm just trying to lift up this this section here, which is basically the section where you put your uh, tabletop. Uh, it's adjustable up to two meters, um, and it's very heavy, very very robust. Right, so this is one of the legs. It's pretty heavy, and uh, it's got this connection which I assume is gonna be connected to the, to the controller. Um, and it's got three different legs inside. This is where all two legs are going to be connected to, and that's the power, that's it. And this is where the controller, the remote, is gonna be connected to, if you can see it. Yeah. Screws and stuff. Oof. These are the feet. Everything's freaking heavy. Second leg. That's a power cable, which is so an American plug. I'm in UK, but I think I've got one of these anyway. So if you don't live in US and you don't have this cable, you can actually get just one of these, and like you can find this everywhere, anywhere in uh, on Amazon, online. You can find these in electronic stores as well. So plug and then we get the, the remote this is gonna be the controller that's it that's pretty much it guys so so guys this is what the box what's the inside this huge box so you got these two um i believe these are two mount for for the, the desk and then you have the um the support for the tabletop which is extendable from the center, you can extend that up to I think 1.80, 180 centimeters, or up to two meters I think. And these are the, the feet. These are the legs. The three extendable um, legs inside, so you can go up and down. Uh, and it comes with these bag full of screws, the remote uh, controller, and it comes with the cable with the American plug. Uh, that's fine. The power supply the power box and then it comes with instructions of course and that's pretty much it so i just want to let you guys that you find the um the spanner within this bag is quite useful even though if you have like a utility box you might find one of these spanner four millimeter spanner uh, but you need to get a screwdriver so i got a cross uh, screwdriver and that's what i'm going to use for assembling it that's it old tabletop so I would have to measure that um, and then I'm gonna go here and then measure the uh, the length of it and then screw this back again that's it now I really appreciate that they put this in the box but uh, get a proper one because this is just a nightmare I love the fact they actually label all the screws, as you can see here, which is very, very handy actually. They're all labeled. So basically these screws that I'm using, on the instructions are 16 pieces, but actually they give you 17. Appreciate that in case you lose one. It's very nice. It's a little touch, but it means a lot. That's it guys, this is how it looks and I think the last two parts, the uh, power box and the controller will be screwed into the tabletop. So I'm gonna just use my old tabletop um, from Ikea, it's very cheap but for the moment to just work and then in the future I'm gonna buy probably a desk and I can use the same legs for that. So that's pretty much it. So this is where I'm at at the moment. I've got this like floor desk almost um, and I've got this chair. Um, and I've got this situation here. So 
so I would have to then put my uh, my table now there and then I'm gonna use that board even though it's quite cheap one but it would work for now um, and then in the future I'm gonna get a larger one so I can get the big screen on top of it as well so I'll now try to assemble it notes here I'm not gonna remove them I just gonna put the desk on top of my uh, new legs and that's it so in this little tiny space I have to fit all these things learn to be tidy not like me all right that's it guys so that's the that's the desk I'm gonna be with you in a second just screw this in Alright guys, I fixed my tabletop uh, with the legs and now I'm just trying the remote. So just plug it in. Uh, this is the very first time I'm trying it with you, so let's see how it works. So if I try now to... Uh, they were talking about some sort of an auto calibration because the two motors should calibrate themselves. So I'm gonna try um, just to move the up arrow down arrow and see what happened. Ooh, looks like they're turning on, but and nothing happened press all the buttons. It doesn't want to start. So I would get our nice instruction. Let's see what they say. Okay, it says to press the up chevron and down chevron together. Let's see what happened. To reset. I'm gonna just push them together. To reset. And now I'm gonna just press one of them. <laughs> Looks like it's working now. It was just a matter of pressing the two chevron together at the same time for a few seconds. And now it's working. Now I just I should hear a sound and now it's just doing what it's supposed to do. So the remote has two chevrons to go up and down. You also have an LED display that measures the height by inches and you have a memory button. So you have to hold down the memory button until the LED blinks and then you just push one of these four positions to memorize your height. And that's the way to memorize your height and have four different positions. I eventually got rid of the old tabletop and bought a new one from IKEA. This measures 160 by 80 centimeters. It's not as thick as the previous one, but it's quite robust and it's perfect for my 30 inch cinema display. I also tried to keep the desk as clean as possible and got rid of unnecessary items. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in getting one of these, please check the links in the description below. I'll see you very soon. Bye.